and welcome to the mechanic in this video we're going to troubleshoot a Toyota that has a number of issues and it, you can see the first one is antelope brake and then pre-collision parking brake issue rear cross traffic alert issue blind spot monitor and drive style control malfunction you can see a number of issues on this because LTA not available and you can see what's going on there's a lot of warning lights um, they are staying on even when you start the vehicle and uh, we're going to take a look. We're going to use the Ucanic full system scanner to diagnose the vehicle and figure out what's going on. For before we start, make sure you plug in the scanner under the dashboard there, and then we turn on the ignition without starting the engine. So here on the home screen, we we'll press diagnostics and then we go we can go down to Toyota and this is a 2021 Toyota Highlander we're going to do manual selection but you need to know which market this vehicle was uh, made for and then you can see the different Toyota models right here This is a 2021 model year. Keep going. All right. So, other thing is you could do the smart VIN, but we want to show you the, the long way how you can actually manually select the make and model. So here the scanner has got is connected to the vehicle. It, we got two options here: quick scan. It's going to go through all the control modules on the car. And read the codes or we can manually enter um, them by selecting diagnosis and then powertrain has got a number of control modules chassis has got a lot more control modules and body is going to have a number of control modules as well but instead of entering each one of them one by one we can go back and go quick scan and then we have to give us a few minutes to go through all th these control modules and see what codes are present and what's going on. So let's give it a couple minutes. So the scan is complete. Now let's take a quick look at this. So you can, as we scroll down, we see that this vehicle has uh, about, uh, well, it has 35 different control modules. A lot of them do not have full codes, but some do. So if you see one that with co full code, you can press this arrow right here and see the code, if it's current or active or if it's history or stored um, if it's stored then you can enter that control module and clear it or you can hit a race down here but that's going to clear everything uh, all the codes from that are stored or history for all the control modules um, but you can enter individual control modules and uh, clear codes from that individual control module so here you can see a couple of codes in the navigation system um, you can see blind spot monitor it has a, a full code blind spot slave it's got a present code so this code that's not going to clear without fixing that issue there you have the code here so that's something that needs to be addressed if we um we can do a few things we can save the report you can hit um, report here or you can erase all the codes and like i said it's going to clear all the codes that are in history status not the ones that are active but if you click report if we scroll down to the bottom you get a summary of all the codes their status so um brake electronic parking brake you can see there that um a left front wheel speed sensor voltage or short to ground and then uh, it's kind of same thing there and these are all history so all these their history uh, can clear this one here uh this under blind spot uh, slave um, that's not going to clear because that's present so we can hit erase as you can see it's clearing codes it's going to clear all the ones that are history though even if it shows here it's cleared temporarily as soon as you restart the the car those the codes that had present or active status they're so just going to come right back because you need to address that issue. Um, now we can enter any of these control modules. So here we have the list of all the different control units that are on this car. 
and uh, what we can do is we can enter any of them so let's first enter the engine control unit and we're gonna take a look at how you can here you can read codes just from the engine control unit you can do it live data we're gonna quick uh, take a quick look you can look at any of these categories or select all data select all press ok this is going to show us a really long list of data that's being uh, collected by the engine control unit and you can do the same if you go to a different control unit if you go to transmission or the airbag control module you're gonna look you can look at all the data that that control module is collecting on all these data points that are being streamed by but you can see here this is a total distance traveled this is a good way to check if you're concerned your your vehicle mileage has maybe the cluster was changed and then uh, but the the mileage is stored in the engine control unit as well so it's gonna uh, if it differs uh, this value is different than what's shown on the instrument cluster um, maybe the actual the miles are not actual on the vehicle but you can see here this is a really long list of all these different data and then if we start the engine these values will start to change uh, depending what they're monitoring and what they're doing but you can see uh, there's a lot of data here and um, and so far that's that's about only half of the data that you can monitor um, and we can keep on going it's a pretty long list of data that you can look at okay so I'm gonna go back and we're gonna take a quick look at active tests now these are active tests that can be performed in the engine control unit so if we're in another control unit you're going to see a different list under active tests these are the uh, tests that you can control to the engine control unit so let's go exit this and we're going to enter the transmission control module so the menu is going to look similar but all the data that's being monitored by the transmission control unit all the active tests if they any can be completed they're going to be different so if we uh, look at live data, I'm going to do select all and I'll press OK. And then you can see here, mileage is also stored in a transmission control unit. But then these values here are more like uh, data that's being monitored by the, by the transmission now. Uh, some of it might overlap with what's shown in the engine control unit but a lot of it is going to be new data just see the shift solenoid value status and things like that they just have to do with the transmission and the active tests you can see how you can activate solenoids and if you control the shift position and things like that so if i exit this and let's go to the start stop electronic parking brake for example press that then we're gonna look at some live data select all okay and there is data that's being monitored by the electronic parking brake module and this is a long list as well so let's go back here it's most important I want to show you active tests in here monitor relay solenoid relay stop lamp relay so you can turn on the stop lamp abs pump uh, you can activate that you know you can do some different tests if you are in depending on what control modules you are connecting to Let's go back. So uh, really quick, under active test, if you want to activate the ABS pump, you go to motor relay, select just one of the values there, or one that you might want to monitor. Look at the value up here. But more importantly, down here at the bottom, you got on and off. And if you press on, it's going to activate that and off. Turn that off. So 
that's how you can do bidirectional uh, controls. But that's all. That's how you can run a full system scan on a Toyota. Look at some of the different control units. Look at the codes. Check if they're active or passive. How you can clear them from any of the control modules on the car. Then we look at some live data um, and also some bidirectional tests and there's more bidirectional tests that you can do depending on which uh, control unit you are entering so if you're going to go to the air conditioner control unit then you can control the air conditioning system uh, so and you can you know clear codes as long as they are either passive or history if they're active you got to address those issues and uh, then you can can clear those codes but you can see here we're under ac we can turn on blower motor you can select at least one data there to monitor and then you can turn plus minus you can control it here and that's already turned on and maybe you can hear the blower fan there you can uh, we can do it right through here and there is other tests that you can run under the air conditioning system but these are just only a few as, as, as we remember this car had all 35 control modules and a lot of them have bidirectional directional tests some are not going to though like if you enter the airbag control module there's not a lot of um, uh, bidirectional tests that you can carry uh, under the SRS control module and you can see the option is not there we don't want to you know deploy airbags or things of that nature so that's it. Thank you for watching your mechanic where you can be the mechanic.